Hello, my name is Professor Rory Ridley-Duff and in this video I'm going to show you how you can undertake an initial governance audit and learn about the different orientations that you might adopt towards your system of governance. To do your initial governance audit, we're going to open the Fair Shares social audit page and navigate to initial governance audit. There are a number of studies that were undertaken at Sheffield Hallam University to inform this diagnostic tool. As before, we break down governance questions into groups. In this case, the internal and external stakeholders who influence the system of governance. Whilst these may help you update your Fair Shares canvas, this audit is much more about developing the capacity of your members who you think are interested in governing in the future or are already on the governing body. So let's take the survey. As with all of the social auditing tools, you need to input your email address so we can send you the results. There's a diagram about the different orientations towards governance. We have descriptions derived from detailed research about four orientations towards governance, entrepreneurial, cooperative entrepreneurship, managerialist, and stakeholder. Later, you can read descriptions of these. As before, we need to agree the Creative Commons license, then choose next. For the purposes of this demo, I will choose trial and choose next. Before the questions are answered, we offer you a theoretical perspective. What do we mean by entrepreneurialism? What do we mean by managerialism? What do we mean by cooperative entrepreneurship? And what do we mean by stakeholder democracy? When you're governing an organisation, you can consciously make decisions that influence the governance system. How you implement decisions creates a particular type of culture. These governance orientations describe the organisation culture that your decisions will create. So now we go into the questions. These are divided into those that are external in their orientation and those that are internal. The first page looks at external relations. What do you know about the regulatory authorities that you have to deal with in order to manage your enterprise? These might be tax authorities or the people that you have to send reports to. Who are the users of your goods and services? In short, who are your customers and or beneficiaries? You may need to provide them with information as well. Lastly, who funds your organisation? It could be that you raise funds from internal members or it could be that you have external investors. So just tell us what you know about the way these relationships are governed. The second set of relationships are internal. The first question here is about labour. Not just labour provided by employees, but also by volunteers, member owners and any managers. In short, tell us about the composition of your workforce and how relationships between them are governed. Next, what do you think the difference between management and administration is? That's a bit of a brain teaser to get you thinking about the different powers that come with the ability to make decisions and the ability to devise an administrative system. Lastly, how do you think the responsibilities of board members might differ from people employed as managers, if this applies? And how are their responsibilities different from those assumed by the owners of an enterprise? All of these questions are designed to help you think about the system of governance that shapes relationships between board members and between the board and different stakeholders. When you've collected all the answers, go to the final page and submit. All of our Fair Shares social auditing tools and diagnostics are available on the Fair Shares Association website. That's okay if you want to try them out and perhaps use them with students in a classroom setting. But if you want to do social auditing in a single organisation or in consultancy work, you'll need your own set of personal survey tools that you can customise. We provide these to members and people who have an annual subscription to the Fair Shares Association. 
if you go to fairshares.coop forward slash membership, you can apply for a subscription or for membership, and then we can provide you with your own set of tools. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. I hope you found that video useful. Uh, we have courses available on the website of the Fair Shares Institute. If you want to study to become a certified practitioner in Fair Shares, point your browser at fsi.coop forward slash courses to find out more information.